So welcome back to the Tech Unravel and today I want to make a very quick video about a really important update. So we have the ROG Ally over here and for those of you who don't know this, it has different operation mode and the maxed one version is at 25 watts if you don't have this plugged in. But if we do plug in the official charger, you'll see that the max version is at 30 watt. But the thing is that if you want to use an USB-C dock to hook the ROG Ally to a monitor, then even though you plug the official charger into the USB-C and this is a PD port, you will still not get the full 30 watts for the turbo mode. But today JSOX announced that they released a software update for most of their docks. So that means this HP0604 and also the Omni case that I have over here and don't worry, I am planning on doing a full video about this. Both of these docks now have an official former update that we will do in today's video and we will see if after this we will get the full 30 watt power on the ROG Ally. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have over here the official guide on how to do this and don't worry, I will put everything into the description. But basically what we have to do is download the software and we can do this from over here. And once we unzip it, then we can open it and we have this update tool executable file. We open it and here we have the software that will do a firmware upgrade for these two docs. Now, on the official website, we do have several instructions on how to use this for different docs. From what I can tell for both of my docs, I need to do the following. First of all, for this one, instead of plugging the USB-C directly into the ROG Ally, apparently I do need to use this PD port over here. So I need to plug in a different USB-C cable and I also have a JSOX one over here. So we plug this in and then into the ROG Ally. Next, we need to fill in these two boxes and here we have to write 0B05, there you go. And the second one, as per the instructions, we need to put 0639. So there you go, these are the two versions that we need to put. And then we click on with update. And apparently that is everything that we need, but we can also check if the former upgrade has been done successfully. So we click on get vid. And there you go. If this is the output that you get, then you will have the proper installation of the new firmware. Before we check this out, we need to do the same for the Omni case. So let's go ahead and do that. And we select vid update again. So unfortunately, for some reason, the Omni case didn't want to update for me. And as you can see, I tried different USB-C ports and the interface was not recognized by the ROG Ally. I did contact the JSO and I am waiting for an answer from their side. And as soon as I have an update, I'll make sure to put an update right here on the channel. But for now, let's move on with the HP604 dock. Okay, so now that we have the software update for the HP604, uh, we have here the official charger. We can plug it into the dock. Okay, for now I'll not put the HDMI because I want to put the ROG Ally over here and open the command center and as you can see now we're at 15 watt and if we go to turbo mode we have 25. So let's plug in the USB-C dock. And there you go, on the spot, now we have 30 watts. So finally, we have a functional USB-C dock that allows you to play in 30 watt mode. And I'm really happy because JSOX is one of my favorite brands for this kind of docks. It was released for the Steam Deck, but as you can see, it works very well for the ROG Ally. And this was the only limitation that we had and now we also hook the ROG Ally to a monitor using the same dock and as you can see we still get the 30 watt. So this dock is fully functional and I'm really happy because as I said this is one of my favorite docks and I will continue on using this one. So if you have any questions please make sure to drop it in the comments because I'll make sure to answer to each and one of you. But as you can see this is a pretty straightforward process. You only need a USB-C cable to hook it up to the ROG Ally and that should be it. Alright, that's it for this quick video. Hope you find this useful. Please drop a like if you did so I can release more videos like this one. That's it for now. This is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you in the next video.